What's up guys, Baker here, coming at you with another transition tutorial. Um, don't know what I'm going to call this, I guess it's just uh, the light wipe uh, scope transition, I guess, I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> I've used this a couple times in my recent edits and I think it's pretty sweet, take a look. So it shoots and then it uh, comes in, boom! So, uh, you know, there's different ways to animate this in. I'll go over just a couple, but I mean, the main point is we got the scope and some light coming out from the, uh, the outside, and you can kind of still see, like, the background in. It's a pretty cool transition. So, I'm going to go in here, uh, just take off the color correction for a sec, and um, so we got your clip, right? So, you're going to have some clip, and it doesn't have to be the same one, but uh, in this case, I'm going to have it like that, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, I'm just gonna split it really quick. Uh, Command Shift D, and this bottom one I'm just gonna twixter it just just you know real quick. Yeah, twixter's always the best. So I do believe this is still 59 frames per second. Zoom in here, and I'm gonna twixter it right when that comes up. So speed, move forward, two percent. That'd be sweet. So, barely even moving, so that's good. Now, what I'm going to do is the second clip, I'm going to go, so he shoots here, I'm going to go about maybe half a second before he shoots, and then trim it. And scoot it over. And uh, right when this guy shoots, just about here, I'm going to have this overlap. Alright, so go ahead and search in... CC light, uh, CC light wipe. So put that on. And right now nothing happens. But if we change the completion, well, let's move forward one frame so we can see our clip. Transition completion, we see we get some cool little light wipe, you know. But we want it the other way. So we want to reverse the transition so that we only see the scope and then the light is around it so we'll put it down to 62 percent and um, we can change the shape but uh, that's not gonna look good we want it to be round to, just like the scope and um, you can choose color from source which is which is kinda cool I mean it gives you the colors from the, your clip but um, we actually want to pick our color and normally you want to pick a color that kinda matches your color correction so in this case with this color correction um, ooh, that looks kind of cool. Uh, we want some kind of like you know, orangish red kind of color. So just you know, just kind of pick a a nice color that kind of fits. Now it seems like it's kind of overpowering. It's pretty intense. So what we can do is um, add a levels, and then if you change the channel to alpha, and then mess around with the gamma of the uh, this, you can actually kind of turn the intensity down. Let's see if you can change this to oh, maybe this one. You can China China kind of you know change the intensity and the fall off. That's what I'm looking for. So that looks pretty good right there. So you can see it uh Twixters and the background clip is still moving and then this is kinda So what I'm gonna do is right when he right when the second clip, right when he shoots I'll probably turn this down to half. Right when he shoots, right around here. Actually, let's go into he actually shoots right there. Keyframe the completion, and then uh, move forward. You can actually have this animate like an explosion, like have it go. But uh, that's entirely up to you. It will be subtle, or you can just do it one frame over. So really up to you. And I uh, usually I twixtured this part, but I'm not going to do that right now. So how to animate this on? So I used a couple different ways so far. So one would be a radial, radial wipe. So add that to the second clip, and then just uh, you know, you know, fade it on like that. So that's one way. So keyframe it from 100 to uh, zero. Another way I've done so far is uh, just some CC lens, really. <coughs> So you see lens like this, and just keyframe it from zero, and then just go, and now it looks, looks kind of cool. Transition like that, and you get the scope, you know, and then I'll just you know explode out, and then you get the next clip. 
Um, uh, there might be a couple other ways, but I don't really feel like going over them. But the main thing I just wanted to show you was uh, the CC light wipe. And um, you make the circle. And then use the alpha channel to adjust the fall off of the light. You know, and just kind of pick a nice, you know, nice color. You might want a little, a little bit more, not so saturated, some, I don't know, darker, some, I don't know. I don't know, up to you guys, but pretty cool effect, I think. Um, <clears throat> if you enjoy my tutorials, especially these transition ones, go ahead and leave a like, and a favorite, and a comment, and all those good stuff that make me happy. Because I make you guys happy, don't I? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to help you with After Effects, so you help me, you know, get exposure and help you guys. Help me help you help me, if that makes sense. So, let's help each other. Alright, so anyways, um, like the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!